Good morning. Welcome to Dobson's DIY. This is my first ever video and I'm going to be doing some tyrolene today. But first, you need a coffee. Right, it's not normally, I'm not normally dressed like this, but today, because of tyrolene, I'm going to get messy. It's a beautiful day and I've already started do some more. The tyrolene on my house has got this finish at the moment. The whole house has been tyrolene and with a new extension. I've done this bit of tyrolene to match. balcony on top. A bit windy, but here's a selection of some of the tools that I'm going to be using today and the stuff I need. That's a ladder. There's a the tyrolene gun, bought by old faithful tools, but it does the job and I'll show you. It works by flicking the mixture inside on a spindle and then you just use a handle and flick it on the wall. delve into the bag. I'm using a building sand that's slightly mixed with a bit of sharp sand. Nice bit of grit in there. It's a bit wet but this is going to be perfect for my Tyrolean mix. Right, video's going. It's a bit noisy, a bit windy. Uh, cement mixer trust the old thing. I've got a 3-in-1 mix in there, uh, still using to see the damp sand and that's the kind of colour I'm looking for in my mix. Next, SPR Bond is going in. Three good glugs, four good glugs of that. Waterproof for next. All you need another bonding acrylic agent, acrylic primer, nice and pink. That's all you need. All right, we're splashing a bit of water in now. We want it. We want it a little bit sloppy. Doesn't matter if it looks too sloppy. This stuff is going to flick on the wall and stick like glue. Tyrolene's going to be happening today. I've used a couple of bed sheets, covered up my patio doors. Right, because this was an internal wall, it had plaster and paint inside the conservatory. Now I started to chip it off to get um, a different surface. Uh, the good thing about Tyrolene is Depending on how you put it on, you can hide a lot of mistakes, but the bit of plaster and paint that is still exposed or still shown, I've marked it all, put a keyed surface on there with a Stanley knife, and I'm just going to mix up a little bit of PVA bonding, splash that on, let that dry, and then I can tyrolene. So, splodged some of my mix into my tyrolene. It's got a really sloppy mix to it and I will put a bit of water in with that and then I'll shake it all and then start tyrolene. Come to see. 
let's hope I don't splash him materially. Welcome back. This, I don't condone this, but it was my birthday yesterday, so I'm having a beer. Welcome back to Dobson DIY and yep it was hard going but as you can see behind me I've done the Tyrolane job. I'm quite pleased with it. Allow it to dry, and then get a proper paint job done on it, and then I'll do another video of what it looks like when it's finished. Let's just hope it doesn't rain too heavy tonight. And that's obviously a motorbike going past, but basically verandas up there, all of that's been to and it's all starting to match in with the rest of the house. Thanks for watching, Dobson's DIY.